Well, here's a random fact. Did you know that Washington State produces 25% of the nation's oysters? I did not. I know, me neither. <laughs> uh, and more than 60% of that total comes from Wallapa Bay in southwest Washington. Yeah, and that's where we find Andy Carson in this week's Andy's Adventures. He traveled to the Goose Point Oystery to learn all about oyster farming. I am with my buddy Kathleen right here, and you are the big shot right here at Goose Point Oysters, second generation in this farm, right? You got it, Andy. Okay, now I thought people just went out and found oysters in the wild and brought them in. You actually farm them, is that right? We do. Will you take me out and let me uh, help and at least see the process? Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to teach you about farming in Wolfa Bay. At high tide, this is about eight feet deep on average, and then at low tide, it's all exposed tide flats. Okay, so, so at high tide, this is that much deeper? It's about eight feet eight deep. Eight feet deeper mm -hmm. than it is now. Mm -hmm. Oysters are a three-year crop cycle. Our oysters are grown traditionally in the mud. You don't have to feed, you don't have to water, you don't have to fertilize. Cool. Don't tell all the crop farmers <laughs> about this. <laughs> Okay, ready to get dirty? Yes. Uh, all right. There you go. Ready Time to, to do the laundry. So you're going to help us pick. You don't want to stand in one place for too long. Okay. you will sink. I almost feel like I'm being taken on a snipe hunting trip. <laughs> <laughs> they don't come they do already cracked like open on a bed of ice. <laughs> <laughs> no. What you're going to do is you're going to put your bushel basket down like this. Uh -huh. And what you're going to do is you're just going to fill it, pick up all the oysters, and fill your basket. And then you pick it up, and then you dump it in. There it is. Yeehaw! And then we're done. Then we eat. <laughs> <laughs> The tide will only let us be here for a couple hours. Well, that's a nice thing about the tide. <laughs> so you, you're picking everything. Everything. Yeah, like he's he's teasing me because you left a few behind. We have to go back and pick them oh, up. He's teasing you yeah. because of my work. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like mowing the lawn. You have to get all of it. There you go. That's a good one. I'm better at pithy sayings than I am actual work. <laughs> Is this getting full now? Almost. When it's like heaping. Heaping, all right. I feel like this is pretty heaping. There's only like 10 more over there. <laughs> all right. There you go. I feel like this is heaping. Yes. You want to shoot it? Sure. I'm a boy from Kansas. You're lucky to get me to do this much. <laughs> <laughs> so it can't get any fresher than this. No. Man. Oh, that was delicious. That was like having soft butter. I'm feeling girl! <laughs> <laughs> well, after the oysters are harvested, we fill up this entire hopper with oysters, and then our guys shuck them. And then after they're clean, then we sort them. And then they get hand-packed into their containers, and then it gets sealed and shipped. We only have like a 17 day shelf life, so everything happens in 24 hours. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, wow. I, have so many, I have so many questions. I'm sure yeah. you guys do too. Right? Yeah, well, before you ask those questions, yeah. I want to let you know on our website, kptv.com, we have a longer version of this. Okay. Because oh, cool. there was so much uh, to try to cover, yeah. we had to do this much, but yeah, there's a longer version. But what this, do you This what do you might have? be a silly question. How do you know it's ready? Like, how do you know that these ones are ready to be harvested yeah. and they're not? Um, they, they're out there for three years. Um, and so basically, they just get bigger and bigger. Okay. So, I mean, uh, actually, like in Asian countries, they like them really big. Mm -hmm. and, and other places like here in America, we typically like them to be a lot smaller. Smaller. Huh. And so they, I mean, they ship them all over wow. and yeah, they go through that. And just the, the amount that they can bring in is crazy. And the big heaping baskets, how do those get from the so, shore? So to, once, the, yeah. once the tide comes up, so it goes up eight feet from there, they have these other ships that go out there and they're able to pick that up wow. and oh, put it wow. into okay. the, and they actually have to put some stakes around so they can see where that is, wow. so they can keep track oh of it. Gosh. It was yeah. fascinating. Yeah. 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 
do you like them better with or without the tapatio? Um, oh, I just like a little a little sauce a little in sauce. there. Oh, that looks kinda, so good. Kind of knock it back. And then they have these, if you go out there, they have a look, like a little shop that you can go to and just hang out. They've got already pre-made oyster shooters. Yeah. With the, and you just kind of take the top off and... Ooh, uh, wow. Yum. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right, so go to the website to check out all the rest of yeah. the information. But that and, is really cool. And ask me more questions whenever, because okay. it was it was such a cool, fascinating yeah. thing. And, awesome. and uh, Kathleen and the whole group, so cool. So cool. Multi-generational uh, yeah. things. Like her dad worked with the... Uh, with, uh, uh, the, the uh, son or the father of the guy that was doing the boat, so it wow. just keeps wow. on going. So employs a lot of people, awesome. and it's a great time. Really yeah. cool. Uh, yeah.